Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. I have moved studios once again. Uh, my wife was not pleased that uh, I had to put an air conditioner, a window air conditioner, in my other studio because it got so hot. And the furnace could not keep up in that room, and so I've moved across the hall. And so if I'm a little echoey, I'm still working on the audio at the new studio. But uh, she's much happier. The air conditioner is hidden behind the house and nobody can see it. So <laughs> she's happy about that. And I get a bigger room. <laughs> I'm happy about that. We are getting back into Breaking Bad. This uh, We're watching, what is it, season five, episode three. Last episode, a couple of big things happened. One, Walt scaring the living crap out of Skylar in bed like he was being creepy right it wasn't just me and then she looked petrified of him hopefully they're they'll figure that out i mean their marriage is always rocky but hopefully they'll figure that out and two they asked mike to like come in with the three of them as the new drug lord or whatever and Mike's like, nah, I'm good, because Gus gave, put this, like, fund together that had millions and millions of dollars for all the people associated with him, so I'm good. And then the DEA brings him in, Hank brings him in, he's like, yeah, we took all that money, you're broke. And he's like, hmm, yeah, let me talk to my associates, and so he has to kill a couple of them, but then the, like, we don't know who she is, but, like, the, like, chemical girl they can get like some special chemicals they need to make the meth she, he lets her live and he's like i'm in let's make meth <laughs> so i'm assuming that's what we're doing we're starting up like we're gonna have to get all the equipment and i don't know and he's broke walt's broke so i don't know where all this money's coming from i'm assuming it's coming from jesse poor jesse and by the way, thank you so much for being an, a Patreon exclusive member. I so appreciate you. It really, really does help the channel um, grow. Uh, it, without Patreon, this channel would not exist right now. I will say that a million percent. So thank you very much. Let's get into Season 5, Episode 3. You are entering a secure facility. Who's this? In jail. Who are we going to see in jail? Who's Dennis Murkowski? There you go. Coming up in the world. You know it. Oh! Hi, Mike! You're a paralegal now, huh? Who's Mike Wachowski, or whatever his name is? I'm assuming this is one of Mike's guys. Oh! He's not listening. Deal you had with Fring? Still in place. Okay. Don't okay me. You got something to say? Oh, he's trying to get his guys in order. I'm doing my time like I'm supposed to. I'm no rat and you know it. Oh, this was the manager of the laundromat. It's not going to be me, but absent the hazard pay, sooner or later someone's going to flip. No one's flipping. Everyone gets their hazard pay, including you. Oh. Your family's going to be fine. You will be made whole. Now, you got my word. Uh I believe Mike. I believe Mike's word. No, oh, Mike. I'm good. You don't mean to get to them all today. Yeah, I do. Hey! Let's go! Open up! Man, he's got some ground to cover. Yeah. So what is it? There's five left or... I thought there was like 11. He killed two of them. Or one killed one, and then he killed the other, so the two. So there's nine left. It's nine million. That's a lot of money to make up. Is he gonna, is Walt going to be okay with that? What are we doing? What, where's all this clothes coming from? Are you, are you moving back in? Yeah. Oh, good. Is she okay with that? Do you uh, really think that's that's a good idea? Yes. She doesn't. <laughs> She's so uncomfortable. Is her thing that 
he is um is that he killed Gus? Dude, you should go see a doctor. So all for one, one for all. We don't need a fourth amigo. I just saw three amigos. Mike threatened me. He threatened Jesse. He probably threatened someone before breakfast this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Edited by Skip. Good job, Skip. All right. Let him in, you all. He's a big guy. I don't think he could do any damage, though. He, all you have to do is take his knee out and he'd be on the ground. All right, let's take the tour. Where are we going? This is your best bet. Got machines running, forklifts. Right, yeah. How many employees? Ha, I knew you'd ask. 16 illegals. Oh. You know what this is? It's a corrugator. Yeah, huh? It uses steam and salt to crimp craft paper for cardboard. And it makes a hell of a racket doing it. Uh, the chemicals. That'll ruin the product. Well, well, you can't just pop down to Costco and get a couple dehumidifiers? Uh, no. Uh-uh. Fine, moving on. Uh <laughs> Glad he knew about it. That could have been bad. Yeah. And no humidity. And you get all the free tortillas. Hey, free tortillas. Anything food related, going to have unannounced government inspections. Yeah. Those tortillas are interesting. They are very poofy. Oh, he took one. <laughs> he grabbed a tortilla. I mean, I would have too. I totally would have grabbed a tortilla. Hell no. Around children? Uh, no. Didn't you try to rent him that space earlier? The hammer comes down. It's going to be Custer's last stand. It's perfect. Oh. How are we going to fit a lab in here? Who said here? What are we doing? Termites, cockroaches, whatever. Homeowners hire a pest control company. Oh, they got to bomb the house. Does anyone go inside? Hell no. And that's where we'll cook. Interesting. Tell me about these guys. Uh, Mr. Ponytail on the sidewalk. Okay. They're also top drawer, second story men. Second story. B and E artists. He, yeah. I've been uh, pulling their chestnuts out of the fire, legally speaking, for five years. I and his guys are good. I mean, they. This is super interesting. Little under the story behind the story. Wow. Who is this? Holy crap. He can play. Uh, he cannot play. <laughs> you got any roadie cases? For sure. What size? Biggest you got? That'll fit through like a regular size doorway. Roadie cases. It's rated for 900 pounds, so unless your band plays lead bricks, you should be okay. He's such an idiot. Hey, man, I'm trying to do business over here, bitch. Yeah, knock it off. What's your band called? Famine's Pest. Not asking no questions, but it sure looks like you're back in business. Uh, no joke. You're way back in business, man. Look at this. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. If there's ever anything else you need from us, right. mm. any way we can get in on this at all? No. Little stuff. Just say no. They're worse than drugs. Just say no. Everything's the same, except for one important detail. Yeah. Don't bomb it. No stealing. No stealing. As far as you're concerned, they are ghosts. You don't see them, you don't hear them. Oh. You don't speak. Unless you're spoken to. I don't have good feelings about this. The finishing tank's a tight fit. And with this motor you've got on top. The agitation motor. The agitation motor. Yeah. Not on a day, we just kind of twist it into place. Uh, Jesse's smart. They're up for it. Joe already bought a TIG welder for the aluminum work. And, you know, figure if they can pull off the magnet, they can handle this. Oh, it's... Junkyard guy. Classic hospital tent they set up inside of the... Oh, shit, sorry. 
Oh, it's the girlfriend. This is uh, Brock. Brock. Hi, Brock. I'm Walt. I'm sorry. <laughs> he mostly just wants to play his game. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Sure, you don't want to? Yeah. Why don't you stay for a beer at least? Sure, why not? Beer sounds okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Jesse's got a little home life going. That's good to see. Never mind the fact that Walt tried to kill Brock. <laughs> Are you a little uncomfortable with what you did? Yep, playing games. That Vamanos. Vamanos pests. Family all packed up, ready to go? Yeah. How much of this do they have to do? Those are your foggers. They disperse the fume and get into the structure where it'll eliminate any nymphs or larvae, as well as the full grown plateau. Yeah. Cleared the post fumigation inspection. So you're going to get them all? Yeah. Right? We'll kill them dead. Good. Good. Wow. Would you walk into one of those places? Yeah, I, if I saw a place like that, there's no way I'd walk into it. There's a, a nanny cam in the living room clock. I disabled it. I just thought you should know. Good job. What's your name? Todd. They should disable all internet associated with that house for sure. That's a very good point that he made, Todd. Disconnecting internet to a house is fairly simple. There's a box on the outside generally. You just gotta pull the plug. And we start the cook. Oh, they have a little tent set up. That's not very big. Dang. Okay. That wasn't so bad, I guess. That's a question I have. Because they talked about power usage. So, where are they getting all this power? They have a generator going. Is that, is that aluminum shavings? This process is very interesting. So they've created a small version of Gus's, I'm assuming. Oh! What the? That's a gorilla shooting <laughs> at the, the three amigos. What the heck? Or not three amigos, it's... <laughs> I just got done watching Three Amigos a couple days ago. Uh, Three Stooges. Andrian, that little boy. <laughs> yeah. It is good. Have you thought about what your plan is? She's a V. Uh, what are you talking about, money? She doesn't know anything. Good. But I never told her anything. I'm not gonna. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. He trusts Jesse. This has to be your decision. So I have a question. What? Where are they going to get rid of the drugs? Like, how are they... Does Mike know all the dealers or something? Like, how are they getting rid of all of it? Meaning what? Like, everything? Mm, not ever. Never everything. I'm just trying to say that I trust you. And... I know you'll make the right Yeah, call. you don't ever tell anybody about Gail. Oh! <laughs> they have to go in circles, or you're going to leave streaks. Oh, goodness. Marie, shut up. She's not the owner. Maybe she should quit her job. Really? I, I really need... Okay, Hank's back at work. Yeah, he's back with the DEA. As far as I'm concerned, too little too late. If it were me, I tell him I'll go to hell. He, yeah. I mean, his PT's going gangbusters. He's hardly using his cane at he, all. Well, he should be using his cane, though. He could further injure himself. We have another big event coming up. Have you thought about what you're going to do? What big event? Well, it's birthday. Oh. Skyler, he was diagnosed around his birthday, right? I, so it's been a whole year. Mm, that's interesting. We have a timeline. Practically begging whatever water under the bridge, but at this point every year is precious. We oh. She's smoking. Skyler, you're not smoking around the baby, are you? 
And you can't smoke here. There's got to be some rule or regulation. Not in a car wash. That oh is my God. Great. <laughs> Just shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. you Will you shut up? up? Hey. Shut the hell up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my God. She's having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> That's a 5.2. Oh. Oh. God, you don't want that getting into your mix. Good yield, right? That is an excellent yield. Yeah, okay, five pounds. They leave the tent in there? Okay, what? Is she there to confront Walt? Is everything okay? Breakdown, what, what, is that, what does that mean? It means I don't know what else to call it. Yeah, she had a breakdown is right. Did you know she's smoking? Occasionally, maybe. It's, it's not a regular thing. <sighs> okay, so she's just there to talk to Walt. Well, something happened. I don't mean to point the finger, but this just, just come out of- He moved back in. I mean it. You're right. So what story are we gonna do now? The accident. What accident? Oh. Nope. He may never walk again. Oh my god, I, I didn't... Well, did she know that she was cheating on what with him? Did she not know? You must know. Oh god. <laughs> she was having an affair. Yeah? Uh-huh. Like Skyler and I have been trying to... And then... And the accident happened. I love the acting in this. If I have not said that over and over again, I need to make sure everyone is aware. I adore the acting in this. Everybody plays their part perfectly. I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah. No more strange. Like, don't forget your purse. Uh, she plays the most neurotic person so well at least she hasn't been stealing stuff lately she's so confused <laughs> she's so confused just let her sleep sleep on the couch give her some space what are we playing mario kart with brock is mom playing yeah mom's good watch out mom get brock Nope. Oh, Brock's getting serious. What is he worried about? Who's playing games now? Okay. Well, I have no idea what movie this is. Say hello to my dear friend! Oh, jeez. Popcorn, I think there's some pizza left. Yeah. Obviously, it was too loud. It woke her up. This, oh, everyone dies in this movie, don't they? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at all the 20s. Almost 300,000 short. You're forgetting about the mules. They get a flat 20%. The what? Transportation is worth 20%. They're taking a risk. Mm -hmm. Gustavo Fring didn't use mules. He didn't need them. He spent 20 years building. Right. And do you know where they are now? They're government impounded. Impound. Right. You don't like paying 20%. Maybe you shouldn't have killed the guy. Can we continue, or you got any more burning questions? Mm. 120. Yes. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah, good job, Jesse. From each of us. Holy crap. Okay, each bundle's only five grand? Goodman's cut. 18,000 from each. Oh my gosh, the money's going way so fast. You don't know them, but they were part of the previous operation, right. and they know a lot. And right now, some of them are in jail, and more will be soon. We're gonna make them whole. We. Yeah. These were Gus's employees. The cops are looking at them very closely. We don't want them furthering them. Correct. So we are paying them. Why? Because it's what you do. Oh. Mm, God, I knew this would be a problem. It sounds like a simple shakedown. Simple as that. Nope. 
This is business. End of story. Oh, God. This is your problem. It should come out of your end. N no, no. Stick out of mine. He does not need the money. He's like, here. I'll pay my share. Go ahead. Gosh, is this every time though? It was like 300,000 and now it's gonna be like 100 grand? So you best get yourself comfortable with it. What do you got left? It's less than with Fring. Just because you shot Jesse James. Doesn't make you Jesse James. Don't make James. you Jesse James. Yeah, I know who Jesse James is. How are you feeling? Broke it off with Andrea. Oh no! Why? We maybe cleared less money, but we got a bigger piece of the pie. It's like you said, and we're owners, not employees. Love it. Way to go, Jesse. Put him in his place. To send me a message. Maybe there's another reason. Who, who's Victor? Victor trying to cook that batch on his own. Oh. Maybe he flew too close to the sun. Okay, I know who that guy is. His shirt's fun. I don't know what it says. Garage. I don't know. Something. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. That was Breaking Bad Season 5 Episode 3. And so we have started our trio. And I don't know how it's going to go. Because Mike is taking a big portion of the pot for him and his guys. So... Um, I don't know. I mean, eventually, though, they're going to pay the guys off, right? So it shouldn't be ongoing costs. It should be ongoing costs until they've rebuilt up that um, supply. I don't know what Mike's doing with all the money. Uh, I don't know. Poor Skyler. Skyler is not taking this whole he killed Gus thing well. Marie's reaction to finding out she was sleeping with Ted was the best. She, I mean, looked completely shocked i believe it one million percent that she was shocked <laughs> it was great it really was it was great yeah i am so enjoying this season series it's unfortunate this is the very last season i'm anxious to get to the end and find out you know how it culminates but um yeah so good thank you so much for watching please don't ever forget you are awesome thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a patreon exclusive member thanks